everyone. Today we're going to do an unboxing of a 10 watt solar panel charger for a car. At least that's what I'm planning to use it for. Uh, you have this extra car that sits around and uh, if I don't charge it every month or so, the battery will go dead. So, uh, to make it unnecessary to do monthly charging, I thought I would get a solar panel. Uh, I picked one 10 watts. Uh, the bigger, the faster it will charge. Uh, they have one at Harbor Freight that was one and a half watts. That didn't seem like it would have enough uh, headroom. Uh, where the panel will be facing is not going to get a whole lot of sunlight, a whole lot of hours of the day. So I figured if I got a 10 watt solar panel and it's only putting out 2 watts, then I'll get the full 2 watts on average all day long and it will be enough to maintain the, um, the car battery. So let's see what we got here. So here is the panel. Okay, and, um, whoops, you got these four suction cups, which will go inside those holes, and what I plan to do is I'll put a little water on these and stick them onto the Prius's uh, uh, rear window. Now, the rear window on a Prius is, it's very sloped so it will aim at a reasonable angle towards the sky problem is my uh, driveway faces east west so that it's going to be pointing east and won't be getting the optimum sunlight uh, through there um, maybe I can figure out a, a different angling or something it may not be necessary I'll just Stick it right up against the window, see what happens. So anyway, on the back, it has a built-in controller, which is good. I don't need to purchase any different um, hardware for that. And uh, it should charge it up and then um, uh, go into a trickle charge mode. It's the solar panel is rated at 10 watts, 18 volts, um, and uh, maximum power current is 0.56 amps. Uh, it has a short circuit current rating. I don't know how to interpret that. Uh, maximum system voltage. It will handle up to 600 volts. Interesting. I guess if you put a bunch of them in series. And uh, nominal operating temperature will go up to 45 degrees centigrade. Uh, class A, 0.84 pounds. And it measures 14, roughly 14 inches by almost 8 inches by 0.8 inches in uh, thickness. Now the, the panel itself is only about two millimeters thick, but the there's a controller which together gives you your 0.8 inch. Now let's see. I, I forget the name of this type of connector. I have a similar type connector for the um, uh, equipment on my motorcycle for using heated riding gear, etc. I don't know if it's exactly the same connector, but um, with this, I should be able to, um, with this fluorescent light, see what kind of uh, voltage I get just from this uh, fluorescent light. So let's give it a try and see what happens. Let's see if I can tell which, I don't know which side, oh, there it is, the red one will be positive. So let's see what kind of voltage if any, this thing produces with um, just a 
fluorescent bulb on the ceiling. So let's see. Uh, not much. <laughs> Whoops. I think I was getting one volt. Again, you're not going to be using this two volts. What did I do? Got it backwards? Yeah, I got it backwards. Get in there. 2.02 .02 volts. Let's angle it a little bit more towards the, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. You get a couple of volts just from a, a fluorescent bulb. So presumably in daylight, you'll, you'll get your 18 volts if you're in the sun and somewhat less depending on how overcast it is and how directly the sun's hitting it, etc. So you have alligator clips. And on the other side is a mating connector uh, for this. So you could just clip this onto your battery. And now assuming this thing's going to reach. So let's see how long this thing is. Uh, it's not very long. I heard somebody else complain that the, the wire should be longer. But this wire is pretty long. The, uh, the one going from the um, panel itself. Wow, this is a long wire. Let's see how long this thing is. Whoa. Let's get a tape measure. So that'll give you some installation flexibility. So if we do two feet, so this is two feet. Four feet, six feet, uh, around seven feet. Okay, so you got seven feet there plus another foot there, so that gives you an eight foot stretch. And then you also have this uh, cigarette lighter or accessory outlet plug which also has the mating uh, connector for the solar panel here. So you got two different ways. To, oh, actually, no, three different ways. Because they also supply uh, these little um, O-ring things, uh, ring connectors, which again, this looks like it's about a foot length of wire. So if you wanted to permanently attach this to your battery, uh, you could do that. Uh, one hesitation I have about that is I don't even know only one of the connectors is um, exposed. It looks like it's the positive connector, which doesn't, you know, seems like a stupid way to do that in the sense that if that hits any grounded thing on the car, it's going to short circuit. Uh, so, um, hmm, so that's not good. So I would need some kind of protector to put over this if I were going to leave this, uh, connected to the batteries, some way to keep this insulated and from causing a short. Um, but at least you've, you've got that and, uh, would have been nice if they included a cap for this to provide that protection. You also have these uh, little hooks here for, um, I imagine, for hanging the thing. So if you had something to hang it from, uh, you could put two of these connectors. You could hang it either vertically or We'll say we'll do it vertically. And uh, assuming you got, you can hang it from something. Uh, let's put this in here. Let's do it this way. Let's 
So, so this could be like hanging and uh, gives you additional mounting options. So um, I will tomorrow, it's nighttime now, tomorrow I'll take it out, I'll put it in the car, I'll take a baseline uh, battery voltage and let it run a day or two and see if the voltage in the battery is climbing. So stay tuned. Here I attach the battery clips, the alligator clips, to the battery in the back of the Prius. Originally, I was going to mount the panel on the rear window. However, that was not facing the sun, so I mounted it instead on the left rear window. In this photo, you can see the sun at the top of the picture shining on the panel. Uh, we're looking uh, at the panel through the right rear window. As the sun moves across the sky from uh, east to west, uh, the um, light will still be shining on the uh, panel roughly from the early hours of the morning until roughly 3 o'clock in the afternoon. This picture shows that the side window is not vertical but actually slopes uh, towards the sky at about 15 degrees. Here you can view the panel from the left side of the car. So I hooked up the battery at 9 o'clock this morning. Uh, we have clear skies today and the sun was shining on the panel between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. and during that time it increased my battery's voltage uh, which is a 38 amp hour Optima accessory battery for the Prius. Um, it raised its voltage from 12.35 volts to 12.62 volts. So this is just in five hours. Uh, so it's not fully charged, but the charge is significantly improved uh, in just five hours of charging in uh, the sunlight. So I believe it should uh, function fine for its purpose. Uh, and uh, I'm satisfied uh, that this is a uh, worthwhile um, uh, investment. So if you have a car battery uh, on a car that's just sitting there, isn't getting used, and you've got uh, what's called um, vampire drain uh, or whatever, um, uh, where you're, you're constantly losing uh, a slight amount of voltage and your battery is, will die eventually if you don't either drive it or charge it and you want something uh, a more convenient way to keep it charged uh, one of these solar panels will do the trick thanks for watching